Lord, everybody. God bless you, Pastor Fields. Agape World at Ministry, Springfield, Virginia. We thank God for you, you, and you joining us for this noonday prayer. This is the day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad, and it is so good for brethren to dwell together in unity. It's so good for us to come together and pray. God said, if my people that are called by my name would humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, he said, then shall I hear for heaven, I'll forgive their sin, and I'll heal their land. I got to make an adjustment, Facebook. Y'all excuse me just for a second. Amen. I'll heal their land. Amen. Thank you. Sorry about that. Both YouTube and Facebook. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, everybody. Today is Tuesday. I mean, today is Thursday, May the 3rd. May the 3rd. Thursday, May the 3rd. I just got the new um our daily breads in today if you need one of the booklets you can come by the church and get one um let me know if you want me to send one to you i can do that as well amen in the name of jesus so um our daily bread daily devotional booklets amen are available to you amen if you want one in jesus name but you can pick them up at the bookstore library most churches have them out in the lobby or the reading area and they're absolutely free Amen. So we thank God for those in the name of Jesus. Today is, amen, Thursday, May the 3rd again. Amen. Uh, a change uh, in perspective. That's the subject of today. Amen. I don't write the book. Amen. A change in perspective. Hallelujah. And it's come from Psalm 73, 12, amen, uh, through 28. It said, in trouble. It troubled me deeply till I entered the sanctuary of God. Hallelujah. That's a word right there. It troubled me deeply till I entered. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> the sanctuary of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So we are grateful that we can enter into his sanctuary. And we thank God for all of you that are joining. Edwin, God bless you. Edwina, excuse me. Hallelujah. God bless us to Jackson. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Shante, God bless you, Sister Lovelace. God bless you for being with us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so, again, we thankful for all the birthdays today. May the 3rd, I have my list here. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother David Pearson from Antioch. Amen. Happy birthday to you, sir. David Pearson Sr. Du Dwayne Waste Mason from down in um down in, in, in Louisa, Virginia. Amen. We thank God for you. Our mayor, former mayor, Bill Ewell. Happy birthday, David A. Neal, Sr. Happy birthday, Lionel Smith, uh, Harold Hughes. Happy birthday, Robin Jones, Angie Hatfield. Amen. In the name of Jesus and Brenda, Sister Brenda, God bless you as well. Happy birthday to all of y'all. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Let me post the script for the noonday prayer today so you can read it along with Pastor. Amen. In the name of Jesus. <clears throat> I'm going to post it on Facebook. YouTube is going to come up on you for you. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I just posted that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Jackson, what did you, I just saw something on it. Send me our daily bread. Amen. I will do that. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I'll send a copy to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. <clears throat> a change in perspective. It says God gives us the right perspective. It says God gives us the right perspective, which means we don't have it unto ourselves. He gives it to us, to us. Amen. In the name of Jesus, a change of perspective. My hometown had experienced its heaviest winter in 30 years. My muscles ate from hours of shoveling the unrelenting snow. When I stepped inside after what felt like a fruitless effort, weary as I kicked off my boots, I was greeted, amen, by the warmth of the fire and my children gathered around it. As I gazed out the window from the shelter of my home, my perspective of the weather shifted completely. Instead of seeing more <clears throat> work to do, I savored the beauty of frosted tree branches and the way that the snow blanketed the colorless, colorless landscape of winter. I see similar but much more poignant 
shift as in Ahab's Asaph, you know, when I read his words in Psalm 73, Asaph was, amen, uh, David's musician, amen, kind of ministry of music, amen. He, he was a music leader. There. He was a poet and a prophet as well, amen, hallelujah. In Psalm 73, in the beginning, he laments in the way the world seems to work, how wrong seems to be rewarded. He doubts the value of being different than the crowd and living for the good of others. But when he enters the sanctuary, Lord have mercy. And when he enters the sanctuary of God, he, his outlook changes. He remembers that God will deal with the world and his troubles perfectly. And more importantly, that it is good to be with God. Hallelujah. That's a word right there. It is good to be with God and not against God. When we are chilled by the seemingly careless, ceaseless problems in our world, we can enter God's sanctuary in prayer and be warmed through the, through the, uh, by the fire. We warm through by the fire of life altering perspective, changing truth that his judgment is better than ours. His judgment is better than ours. His judgment is better than ours. His judgment, brothers and sisters. Amen is better than ours. Though our circumstances may not change, our perspective can. The prayer at the end says, Lord, I admit I quickly become frustrated with the way things appear. Help me to see the way you do. Hallelujah. See it from God's perspective. Hallelujah. Amen. A change in perspective. Things have not changed. Circumstances have not changed. Sick and tired of being sick and tired. Sick and tired of the same old, same old. Why can't we have this? Why can't we do this? Why can't I have clothes like the other kids have? Why can't I do this? Amen. The husband, other husbands take their wives to him. They do this. Why can't we do this? Amen. Why can't we have a car? Why do we have to take mass transit? Hallelujah. Why? We question, we question constantly as if God don't care that you're catching the bus. That God don't care that you're without food or you're without clothes. As if God doesn't care amen about your situation hallelujah he told Moses I hear the cry of my people by reason of the, their taskmasters for I know their sorrow God is omniscient he knows everything he knows what you're going through hallelujah amen he's mindful of your tears he's mindful of what you're going through and sometimes we pray and we pray and we pray we don't see a way out we don't see amen an answer we don't see light at the end of the tunnel hallelujah but the perspective needs to change you got your eyes we we have our eyes focus on the problem hallelujah we have we have our eyes focus on the attack and the attacker rather than lifting our eyes into the hills with come of our help our help coming from the lord which made heaven and earth we shall he now suffer our foot to be moved he that keepeth thee shall not slumber behold he that keepeth israel shall neither slumber nor sleep the lord is our keeper the lord is our keeper so our perspective, hallelujah, our eyes should be upon him. Amen. Jehoshaphat said, Lord, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. We're looking to you, God. Whatever you say, Peter said, where can we go? You have the words of eternal life. Hallelujah. Jesus said, will you also go away? He had 5,000 walk out the church at one time. Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Can I get a witness? He had 5,000, I said, of the members of the church of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Of the Bible. Amen. Walk out on them. And he said, will you also go away? He turned to his 12. He turned to his disciples. And Peter said, hallelujah. Where else can we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. Peter had perspective. Hallelujah. He said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. Hallelujah. And he said, blessed art thou, Simon Bar-Jonah, for the flesh and blood have not revealed this to you, but my father, which is in heaven. I give this to you, Peter. Hallelujah. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Whatever you bind on earth, hallelujah. I'm giving you the keys to the kingdom. I'm giving you because you came from the right perspective. You stepped out of the boat. The scripture don't say nobody else stood in the boat and stayed in the boat. When he walked on it, he, he can walk. I can walk. Nobody said that. Amen. They let him go on out there. Hallelujah. In the name, his perspective was different. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And so our perspective, the wind was there. The waves was there. Hallelujah. The water was there. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Joe's problems were there. His wife, family, and children had gone, but his perspective was different. He said, though you slay me, Lord, yet will I trust you all my appointed time. Shall I wait till my change come? Hallelujah. The fire was real. Seven times hotter than it was before. 
Hallelujah. But the Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, O king, we're not careful to ask you in this matter. For the God that we serve is able to deliver. And if we burn in the fire, we won't bow down to you or your image. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The perspective was right. Hallelujah. So though you have these problems, though you slay me, Lord, yet will I trust you. Hallelujah. Though we have these problems and trials and tribulations, our perspective has to change. Count it, James said, all joy when you're falling to divers temptation. For the trying of your faith worketh patience. It teaches you to wait on the Lord and be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord, because the power, the problem, the pain, the sickness, the disease is not greater than my God. Who is like the Lord? Hallelujah. No Nobody. Hallelujah. Who is like the Lord? What you said ain't greater than who God is. Hallelujah. What you did is not greater than who God is. Hallelujah. I reckon that the sufferings of this present world is not able to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Nail my hands. Go ahead. Nail my feet. Go ahead and put the crown on my head. I'll rise again. Can't no power here. God, I made all this. How you going to stop me with what I made? I made this. I made the tomb. How you going to put, put me in the tomb and keep me in the tomb? I made hallelujah seal it with seal it that you made from my earth hallelujah what can you do hallelujah to stop me hallelujah I rise again can't no power on earth keep me down hallelujah who can hold him down Pilate couldn't do it Rome couldn't do it the Sanhedrin couldn't do it the Pharisees and the Sadducees couldn't do it hallelujah all of Rome amen I couldn't do it hallelujah they couldn't stop the power of God destroy this body and in three days I'll raise it up again how you come against me David said with the sword but I come against you in the name of Jehovah God. Hallelujah. Come in the name of the Lord, Yahweh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And I shall prevail in the name of my God. Hallelujah. You can bow down and worship and rent your clothes and amen. Hallelujah. And do all that. Cut yourself. Hallelujah. To, to bring forth your God. All we have to do is ask and it shall be given. Seek and we shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto us. Hallelujah. You have not because you ask not. Your perspective has changed. Your eyes, your focus is on what's wrong. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, but the wine is singing the song that you're the only thing right left in the wrong world. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's the only thing right left here. Saints of God. Hallelujah. If you go to that Psalms, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 73. It tells us, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going over here. Amen. Hallelujah to the scripture. Psalm 73. Hallelujah. Round about. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, the 22nd verse, Psalm 73, 22. So foolish was I and arrogant and ignorant. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I was as a beast before thee. Nevertheless, I am continually with thee. Thou hast holding me by my right hand. You got me, God. He got the whole world in his hand. Hallelujah. Thou hast holding me with by my right hand. Amen. He holding our hand. You know, you take that child and walk him across the street. Amen. You don't let the child hold your hand. You hold that child's hand. Amen. That means you in control. If anything happen, you got to snatch him quickly. Amen. Somebody turn that corner wrong. You got to, you got to snatch him up real quick. Amen. And so we put the kid's hand in our hand because we, we have the strength and we know where we're going. Amen. Hallelujah. He called the young because they're strong, the old because they know the way. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thou hast holding me by my right hand. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel and afterward receive me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but thee? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And there is none upon the earth that I desire beside thee. Uh, my flesh and my heart fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Hallelujah. For lo, they are, are far from me. Hallelujah. They shall perish far from thee shall perish. Amen. Thou hast destroyed all of them that go a whoring from thee. Hallelujah. But it is good for me to draw near to you. I have put my trust in the Lord God that I may declare all thy works. Hallelujah. That we talk about the goodness I had fainted, except I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. David said, why do the heathen rage? Why do we remain a, uh, why do they imagine a vain thing? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so, amen. It's their perspective. Though you slay me, Lord, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to praise and magnify. Don't keep your eyes on the, on the enemy. Fret not thyself because of evildoers and be not envious against the workers of iniquity. You're going to be cut down like grass and wind like the green herb hallelujah uh, uh in the year that us i die amen isaiah also saw the lord high and lifted up amen and his train filled the temple he was woe in israel 
Hallelujah. Woe unto them that wake up in the morning and drink strong drink. Woe unto you. Woe. He was casting judgment on the children of it. He's the prophet of God. That's his job. That's what he's supposed to do. This is what I do. I make it do what it do. Hallelujah. I'm going to prophesy and tell him, amen, judgment on God. But when he left earth, hallelujah, and God brought him up into the heavens. Hallelujah. He said the whole earth was full of his glory. The cherubims and the seraphims, amen, is flying around and singing glory to God. And I said, woe is me. His perspective changed. Hallelujah. Woe is me. I am unclean. I dwell in the midst of an unclean people hallelujah then the angel grabbed the uh the the coal from the amen the tongues from the altar amen got the tongues and grabbed the coal and singed his lips hallelujah then the cry said hallelujah who shall go for me ah who shall i send ah god and who shall go for me hallelujah he had singed lips he had changed his perspective so now he says here am i hallelujah send me i'll go I'll do what you tell me to do. I'll go where you tell me to go. I'll say what you tell me to say. Use me, Lord. Hallelujah. To show someone the way. And enable me to say. My storage is empty. And I am available to you. Hey, God, thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Make yourself available. He'll make your life brand new. You look at your hands. They look new. How do they look at your feet? They're the same hands, but your perspective has changed. What a great change. Bishop Roberts used to sing the song, Since I've Been Born. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Our change, our perspective need to change. Hallelujah. No matter what, when the enemy come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against. So stop looking at the enemy. Look for the standard. Hallelujah. Stop looking at the flood. It's water in here. Yeah, it is. But God is going to deliver. Moses, hallelujah. I mean, Noah sitting there building that ark, hadn't rained. Hallelujah. They laughing at him. Hallelujah. Hey, where's the water at? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. How are you going to get the boat to the water? Hallelujah. They didn't know. The boat wasn't going to the water the water was coming to the boat hallelujah the perspective of god has changed amen hallelujah will change your mind and your ideas and your thoughts hallelujah thank you jesus let this mind be in you that was also in christ jesus so that not robbie to be equal with god and made of himself no reputation it wasn't about me it's not about me it gotta be you it's all about you jesus gotta have you i gotta have you amen we gotta have god in our life a new perspective new idea new thoughts hallelujah when jesus come paul was on his way to kill Christians. But when Jesus came, how they changed him. He went down the street called straight. Hallelujah. Met the man to tell him what to do. Hallelujah. Once you, once you, once you meet Jesus, everything changes. When Jesus comes, Sarah Jordan Powell sings the song. All Satan power is broken. All fear is gone. Hallelujah. It changes your life forever. Hallelujah. Amen. He, he will make your life brand new. Amen. For he knows just what to do. Let Jesus fix it for you, my brothers and sisters. Let him fix it for you. Amen. A change in perspective. Hallelujah. You got to get the mind of God. Hallelujah. You say, who can know the mind of God? Amen. We have to have, amen, the spirit of God down on the inside of us to know the will of God. You might not can read his mind, but you can know his will because you got the spirit of God down on the inside of you. Hallelujah. If you have the spirit on the inside of you, there's nothing that you can accomplish through the power of God. Hallelujah. But you got to move yourself out of the way. The problem is there's a way to seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof is death the problem is every man is right in his own eyes amen so you're thinking things amen hallelujah you got perceptions and ideas in your mind that's contrary to the will of god what did balaam do amen how uh, barak the king wanted him to curse israel amen hallelujah and 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 he sought god and god said don't do it those are my people you can't curse my people they they have me how are you gonna curse me Hallelujah. Amen. With my gift. You're going to take my gift. To, oh, no, that'll preach right there. You're going to take my gift that I gave you to curse me with. Hallelujah. You can't do that. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, amen. I can't do it. Amen. And he offered him, amen, to fill his treasures. Amen. And everything. Hallelujah. And God said, well, if he come back, if they come back in the morning and ask you again, amen, you can go with them. But he didn't get, he didn't wait for them to come to him. He got up and, and, and saddled the donkey and went to go meet them. He, he disobeyed the will of God and the angel of God stood before him. Amen. And the donkey, amen, hallelujah, was smarter than the rider. Hallelujah. Amen. He's hitting the donkey, tell him to go. And he see the angel of the Lord with a flaming sword up there in front of him. And he's not going nowhere. The angel of the Lord standing there. I'm not going anywhere. Amen. I got, I know that dude. Amen. Hallelujah. He's, that's the creator. He come from the creator. Amen. I, I'm not going there. Amen. He said, why smite me these three times? Hallelujah. And the angel said, I had to, I had to prevent you. I had to stand in your way because your ways are contrary. He had to tell Balaam, your ways are contrary to my will. 
So we had to block your way. We had to obstruct your direction because your ways are contrary. Amen. And our thoughts are not his thoughts. Our ways are not his ways. And the last thing we ever want to be is be contrary to the will and the word of God. Amen. Woe unto him who falls into the hands of an angry God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we don't have to worry about his judgment if we're walking in his will, if we've been obedient to the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Trust in the Lord. Amen. And with all thy heart and lean not to thy own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge, of him, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Amen. Trust in the Lord and do good and verily thou shalt be fed. Amen. Hallelujah. Just trust God and believe in him and walk in it because faith without works is dead. If you believe he can deliver, amen, walk in that deliverance. If you believe he can heal, walk in that healing. Amen. Hallelujah. Just believe on him as the scriptures have said. And out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. What did I put the book? The book is gone. Hallelujah. There you go. Hallelujah. Amen. A change in perspective. Amen. God bless you, family. Amen. We need a change. Amen. How many need a change today? Hallelujah. How many need things to change in your life? Hallelujah. How many need things to change? You're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Hallelujah. Amen. Of the same old, same old. Hallelujah. Amen. The perspective, the ideas, the thoughts needs to change. Amen. I know my thoughts concerning you. Hallelujah. He knows. Amen. He has a plan for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. David out there playing music. Amen. Giving God praise, tending sheep. Hallelujah. He thought that's the whole, that was his whole life. Amen. That's his beginning and that's his end. Hallelujah. But it wasn't. God had a plan for him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Elisha. Amen. Out there taking care of the oxen, rich man, got money, don't need anything. Hallelujah. Taking care of the people, taking care of his land and everything. How did he come Elijah? Amen. Hallelujah. And he said, come on, boys, time, time to do the work of the Lord. Amen. Killed the cattle, fed, the, fed his family and the, and the servants. And he left with the prophet of God. Amen. Hallelujah. God changed his life in an instant. Hallelujah. Saul, same thing. Saul, Saul, why persecute thou me? Hallelujah. Amen. I'm Jesus whom you persecuted. Go down there. He changed him and instantly. Amen. Hallelujah. His life changed. They wasn't looking for that. Amen. Hallelujah. Saul thought he was doing the will of God. He had, he had a writ from the Sanhedrin. Hallelujah. Amen. He thought he was doing the lawful thing, but he was really out of the will of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And so uh, our perspective need to change. Amen. And we have to do the will of God by obeying the word of God. Amen. And walking in the will of God and study. The Bible says to show ourselves approved under God. A workman need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we have to rightly divide. We have to trust in God. We have to believe on him. Amen. Hallelujah. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. And he that come unto him must first believe that he is and that he is rewarded to them that diligently seek him. Let's, let's take the journey. Let's take the journey. Amen. Let's take this journey real quick. We're born in sin. We're shaped in iniquity. We come short of the glory of God. Amen. So our portion is hell. Our portion is death itself. Amen. And, and, and condemnation. Amen. Hallelujah. But we hear of the cross. Amen. We hear the story of the love of God. He so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God said not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And so we hear this story. Amen. We believe on the name of Jesus. Amen. And so he saves us. We're in the flesh and we do mind the things of the flesh. We are carnal through and through. When I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child. But when I came a man, I put away childish things. So when I'm a sinner, I act like a sinner. I do like a sinner. I, I, I function as a sinner. I do sinful things. There's sinful paraphernalia all around me. My actions, my words, and what I do. Amen. Not what I perform and pretend to be in front of others. But who I am is a sinner. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so once I receive Christ as my personal savior and I receive the spirit of the Holy ghost down on the inside of me. Amen. Hallelujah. Now everything changes because where he leads me, I will follow the spirit is leading me now. So what I used to do in the flesh, I can't do no more. The things I used to do for getting those things that are behind me and reaching forward to those things that are ahead. Amen. I'm pressing toward what's coming because what has been, is of the devil, is of the flesh. And so I'm pressing toward the mark of a high calling in Christ Jesus. And along that journey, 
Amen. I'm constantly being molded and made into the image of God and back into the original plan of God. Beloved, now we, the sons of God, does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, like him, for he, we shall see him as he is. And as we take this journey of faith and following God and, and being in relationship with him, amen, our perspective consistently change that's why we grow in the grace and the knowledge of the truth we have to grow in god amen hallelujah it's a long journey amen it's a life journey hallelujah and i'm not where this person is and i can't do like this person hallelujah amen but i i am trusting god and believing in him and i have faith in him amen that everything is going to work out all right hallelujah in the name of jesus and so amen and somebody calling me a noonday prayer pray for amen and so Taking that journey from flesh to faith, hallelujah, that I preach, from flesh to flesh, from carnality to spirituality, amen, and I'm not talking about crystals and, and all that kind of nonsense, I'm talking about, amen, it's crystal clear that Jesus died for our sins, it's crystal clear, amen, that he's the savior of the world, neither is there salvation in any other, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, things in heaven and earth, amen, and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord to the glory of God, hallelujah, in him dwells in the fullness of the Godhead bodily, Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. For this cause with the son of man manifested that he may destroy the works of the enemy. Amen. So that's why he came. Amen. He came from heaven and earth to show us the way. Hallelujah. And so that journey from from flesh to faith. Amen. Changes us dramatically for our life. There's some people that can bring good word and good teaching and good perspective to your spirit. Amen. But there's some people in this on this world that can be absolutely detrimental. Amen. Counterintuitive to the will of God. How do you have to be careful? You got to follow the spirit and let it lead you. Amen. To the truth. Amen. The, the spirit would not lead you to a lie. It will lead you to all truth. Amen. So in this journey, you got to be very careful who you, who you accept in your spirit and who you don't receive that. Amen. Cause people can say whatever they want to say. It doesn't make it true. Hallelujah. The word of God is true. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so we, we thank God and we praise God and we stay on this journey of faith. Amen. From faith to faith, the just, the justified by God shall live by being free by the justification of God. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm free by him. So only one person can pay the bail. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know if they accept amen, multiple payments from different people. Hallelujah. Now the bail is this amount. We need this. You're going to pay that. Amen. Or oh, that person is going to pay it. Amen. Let's pay this bail. Y'all put it together and bring one amen payment to us. Amen. Hallelujah. There's one payment for sin and that's Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Nobody else have a hell or heaven to put you in. Amen. Hallelujah. Change your perspective. And the biggest one, my brothers and sisters is not other people. It's ourselves. We need to forgive ourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. And know that Jesus is here as a redeemer. Jesus is here. He sent the Holy ghost as a comforter. And we need to know that we are comforted by the power of God, by the, by the love of God. And he loves you so much that he died for your sins. God loves you so much that he sent Christ, Christ's love, that he, he bore the passion. Amen. He bore, amen, the cross for the sins of the world. It pleased God to bruise him. Amen. Not that he was happy that he had nails in his hand, but it pleased God because it took care of the sin. Once, where he died, he died unto sin once and for all. Amen. For everybody. Hallelujah. Even you, he died for you. Amen. Believe on him today. It'll change your perspective. There's so many books. There's a book called uh, Beyond Reasonable Doubt uh, by uh, Morgan. I can't think of his first name, last name Morgan. Amen. Hallelujah. And he talks about all the, uh, not all, but many people in history that tried to debunk the Bible. Amen. And so they end up being Christians. Amen. Hallelujah. Because they went to see that it was wrong. Amen. And check and see that and become Christians themselves. Their perspective changed. Amen. Hallelujah. So that's, it's a blessing to know. Amen. That we have a God that can bring us beyond our faults and see our needs. Amen. And meet us where we are. So why we don't have what other people have, why can't we do what that's not our lot. Amen. Whatever my lot thou has taught me to say it is well with my soul. If I'm in a mansion, if I'm in a hut, if I'm middle income, if I'm low income, if I, it's, it's God's will. And we walk in God's will. Everybody can't have in a mansion. Somebody, you know, that's not, that's not, amen, hallelujah, what our perspective should be on. Our perspective should be on living for God. There's people that's living in mansions they can't pay for. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. They're not happy in certain situations. Some are very happy. I'm not saying that's all of them. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, I, I remember Pearl Bailey said, I've been rich and I've been poor. I like rich a whole lot better. Amen. Hallelujah. And so uh, I'm not, I'm not judging anybody. I'm just saying you don't know their story. You know, you don't know what's going on behind the walls. Amen. And so we don't, we let God do it. Let God build us up. We let God lead us and guide us into all truth. And if he's be God, follow him. If Jesus be Christ, follow him. All right. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Amen. Any prayer requests? Amen. It's hot out there. Yes, sir, brother Holmes. It's hot out there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And I don't like to cut AC on unless I have to. Amen. I'm getting close, though. Hallelujah. It's all a journey. That's right, our sister Alexis. It's all a journey. And we're on this journey together. And we need, we sing this song every Sunday morning. Amen. God bless you, missionary Giddings. Amen. We need you to survive. I need you. You need me. We need each other. And the very one that you don't, and people don't like when I say this, but it's the truth. I don't receive it myself. The very one you're not getting along with is the very one God probably have you to work with. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, cause the devil going to make sure y'all don't get along and, and that y'all bump heads and fight one another because that's what he wants. The devil wants the thief coming, not but to steal, kill and destroy. But Jesus said, I am here. I am come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. So that person is a vital part of your life. Amen. In spirituality, in God. And so the devil wants the opposite of that. Amen. He wants y'all fighting one another and turn each other up. Amen. Or turn each other down. Amen. But the Bible says we ought to build up one another in this most holy faith. Amen. And you just can't attack and, 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 and rip people. Amen. Hallelujah. And stay in the will of God. Amen. God is a God of love. We show love, unconditional love. Amen. In the name of Jesus. God bless you, family. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day that you have made, we thank you for all your people that have gathered here on this broadcast, on noonday prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you for everyone. We speak healing and de deliverance, Lord. Let our perspective change. Let us see the way you see. Walk the way you tell us to walk. Do what you tell us to do. Egypt was, amen, was a slave camp for Israel. They learned how to be slaves, how to work for the Egyptians. They, you had to change through Leviticus, through the law of Moses, or your law to Moses, to the people. Lord God, hallelujah. You had to change their perspective all the way from Egypt to the promised land. So when they entered in the promised land, they would know your law, your rules and regulations, and not follow what, what, the, what was and what's coming from the other nations, Lord God. And so we need your perspective on this journey. We need your perspective in this, on this life, Lord, in this life that we live, help us to do your will. Not nevertheless, not my will, not our will, but your will be done. God, we speak your will. Hallelujah. Help us to study, to show ourselves approved unto you. A workman need not be ashamed. Rightly, 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 rightly dividing the word of truth. Lord Jesus, help us to rightly divide. Because if it's wrongly divided, we're not going to get what you what you meant by it. Lord God, help us to receive the word that you've given to us and receive it rightly that it may feed us. Lord God, we thank you. We praise you some seasonings. Hallelujah. If they're not together right, amen, will not be good for our palate, will not be good for our body. And God, we ask, Lord God, that we rightly season this thing. Hallelujah. Put the right combination together. Amen. For your glory, power, and for your grace, Lord God, for the kingdom of God. Amen. Help us to build your kingdom. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. On earth as it is in heaven. With us as it is in heaven, Lord God. Your heaven is together. Hell is together. And God, that's why we have conflict here, because we have the mixture of the two. Because hell is one, heaven is one. Amen. And we are divided because of both. Amen. Because we're trying to do both. And God, we ask your blessings, Lord God, hallelujah, who is on the Lord's side. And God, we ask your blessings upon your people and bless us, touch us, and deliver us, keep us under your blood. These are all blessings we ask in Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Thank you, God, hallelujah, amen, amen, amen. My brothers, that is a fact. Thank you, Lord, for the inspiration and the revelation of the fact that heaven is one. Hell is completely in darkness. Hell, heaven is complete in light. Amen. Hallelujah. And we are completely chaotic and mixed up here on this earth. That's only because we're trying to mix heaven and hell and work them together here on earth. 
Amen. Hallelujah. And it's never going to work. Y'all know what a thunderstorm is, a cold front and a warm front. Amen. It's coming together. And they, amen. One has to succeed. Amen. And so they're fighting and thunder and lightning and all that is coming. Amen. And smoke and darkness. Sometimes a storm so deep and dark, it wipes the sun out. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so and that's, that's our lives. It's dark and dreary because we're trying to mix amen hell with heaven and it's never going to work there's one time that happened that tried to happen amen and we beheld him as lightning coming down out of heaven amen satan got kicked out of heaven because he said i shall ascend above the stars of god i make my throne above his amen he brought some selfishness amen into heaven and it didn't fit all right so god had to say Yo, get out get out get out of here amen hallelujah amen hallelujah <laughs> you ain't got to go home but he he took he, he knocked hell out of heaven amen hallelujah get that out of here amen hallelujah in the name of jesus hallelujah thank you lord hallelujah and so it doesn't work and it does not mix it does not mix a change in perspective is realizing god is the winner god is the victor and we are victorious when we do it god's way God is the winner. God is the victor. I am Alpha and Omega, the first and last. He was, was, is, and is to come, the almighty God, El Shaddai. He wins. He wins. At the end, he wins. We know that. It wasn't even really a fight. Hallelujah. It's just our, from our perspective, amen, men love darkness rather than light. And we try to mix darkness and light together. And everything's gray. Everything is gray. Everything is foggy and dreary because we, it's light mixed with darkness. Hallelujah. And it's just a fog. We walking around in the fog and in the days. Hallelujah. Because of we're trying to mix the two together and we can't do it. It won't work. It just won't work. So a change in perspective is yielding to God. Yielding to God. Except you abide in the ship, you shall, none shall be saved. Amen. We are masters of the ship. You're a preacher and a tent maker. We don't need no tents on here, uh, uh, Paul. Amen. We don't need no preaching. All we need is y'all. We're going to do what we supposed to do. He said, uh, y'all don't, the winds are contrary. You're not supposed to go today. Amen. Go, go another time. No, nah, you just don't want to go to jail. Come on. We know how to sail. We, we, but the master of the ship, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But he, Paul was working for the master of the sea. Hallelujah. Amen. Working for the master who made the wood that you made the ship with. Amen. Hallelujah. And all the gum and the, and the pine and everything that you stuff and put in there and anything you make to make the ship. God made all that. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, don't, don't, we can't go today, but he said, no, let's go. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and Paul was right. Some on board, some on broken pieces, but they all came safely to shore. Amen. Because they listened to the man of God. When he said, except you abide in this ship, they had to lighten the load, throw everything off of it. Amen. Because they didn't listen to the man of God. Hallelujah. Hear the man of God today, my brothers and sisters. Doing it your way will never succeed. You have to do it God's way. You can't mix light and darkness. The two will not agree. How can two walk together except they agree? Amen. It has to be according to the will of God and the way of God. All right. Didn't mean to talk that much, but that's all right. I'm not taking it back. Amen. In the words of the late great Deacon Burn on board, I'm not taking it back. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you, family. Thank God for you in the name of Jesus. Thank you all for joining Sister Parker. Amen. Brother Holmes, God bless you, sir. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, family. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Brother John, you something, man. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. I liked your I liked your uh your praise yesterday, man. I was watching you. Amen. Uh, praise the Lord yesterday. Amen. Hallelujah. The go-go praise. That ain't nothing wrong with it. I know a I know a deacon. He preaching now. Amen. He used to listen to Go Go. Amen. When he was out in the world, he got saved. He started listening to gospel go go. Amen. And every, some folk was getting on him. I said, man, leave him alone. Whatever helps him transition. Amen. To get the new perspective, let's leave people alone and believe in the Holy Ghost. When you have the Holy Ghost, it changes you. It brings you, it sends you down the right street. So believe in the power of the Holy Ghost. If they have the Holy Ghost, it's going to change them no matter what. Amen. Hallelujah. And so it changes all of us. A change, a change has come. Anyway, so Tremaine or, 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 or I forgot the Tamla. Amen. Hallelujah. So. Amen. We have to change perspective by, by, by receiving Christ as our Lord and Savior and follow him. All right. God bless you. Thank you so much. Join us tomorrow, noonday prayer. Tomorrow night, tomorrow night. Amen. Come on out. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. And join us for our, our women's conference. Amen. 2018. I'm about to put this on here. I thought I had it already. 
Amen. The Women's Conference 2018. I'm going to give you all the rundown. Amen. I, I should have had the page ready as well. Amen. To give it to you guys so that you can see our woman to woman conference. Amen. The page. We have a page on Facebook. Amen. Hallelujah to our women's conference. Come on out tomorrow night. Amen. Uh, Elder. Elder Hinton, Elder Jacqueline Hinton is speaking. Amen. Tomorrow night she's in for, I didn't change that on here. I'm sorry for, um, apostle young. They'll be here. The, the open door church family will be here. Amen. But elder Hinton will be speaking tomorrow night at seven o'clock. Join us. Amen. Evangelist Joanna Coles. If you ever heard her speak before you already know she's, she's, she's a great preacher, prophet. Amen. She see things and man, she going to give you a perspective. Amen. From, from the will and the word of God, she say stuff that only God can tell her. Amen. Hallelujah. So y'all come on out Sunday morning. Amen. At 11 o'clock. She is going to bless your soul. I promise you. Hallelujah. You, she's going to bless your soul. First lady Williamson, their family, the uh, restoration power ministries. Thank God for them coming and uh, joining in with the agape. Amen. Hallelujah. They are friends. Amen. Already. We just met. Amen. But God put us together. Amen. So we're grateful to her. Amen. And, and her husband, um, pastor Levi Williamson, amen. <clears throat> who came and spoke a powerful word on the fig tree. Lord, if you go back and look that up, Levi Williamson on Agape web TV on YouTube, it's a powerful. And at the end, he got a little twist there, man. That was a great word, but his wife will be speaking Sunday evening at three o'clock. Amen. And closing this thing out, my mama, one of my mamas, mama, Naomi Roberts, amen. will be speaking on the 11th of May. Set your calendars for that date, the 11th of May, amen, as we close out the Women's Conference. We may have some guest speakers, amen, on next Wednesday. I don't know just yet how, how, how that's going to work out, but we'll see. Saturday, we're scheduled to be at our district meeting at Antioch, all saints and believers. Meet us this Saturday at uh, 845. They have continental breakfast, amen, and then we start the meeting, amen. Speak life, I believe, is the subject for the conference. And so everybody join us on Saturday morning at 845 at Antioch. Amen. As we have our district uh, meeting. Amen. We're looking forward to that in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> and so we thank God for all things because God doeth all things well. And keep us in prayer as we pray for you. You want to give to this ministry. You want to partner five dollars, ten dollars, fifty dollars, amen, a hundred dollars. Amen. We thank you all for what you're doing and we're praying for you. We got our name, our prayer book. Amen. We putting your names in our prayer book and I put everybody's who have given me names in this prayer book. Amen. In the name of Jesus, <clears throat> we're praying for you and you and you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. If you want to be a partner in this ministry, certainly you can do that. Amen. Just be consistent in what you do. Amen. Whatever that number is. Amen. Hallelujah. Just stick to it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And God's going to bless you real good. Amen. In the name of Jesus and for being a blessing to this ministry and to this church. Somebody want to just plant a seed Pastor. I, I don't know about the monthly thing, but I was blessed. Taxes just came back or whatever. And I'm going to bless the church. I'm going to tie the church. I'm going to, well, I'm going to give the church, you know, a hundred, a thousand, whatever it may be. I'm going to bless the church. Amen. Hallelujah. If you want to do that, you can do that as well. Amen. In the name of Jesus, the best way is to come by. Join us Friday night. Amen. Or come by for noonday prayer and just bless sitting, sit in here. I got the seats waiting on y'all. Amen. And, and sit in and enjoy noonday prayer live right here. Amen. You can see the behind the scenes and how we do things. Amen. In the name of Jesus, maybe wonder how we get it done. Hallelujah. It's, it's by the hand of God. Amen. You want to see behind the scenes? Come on out. Amen. To our noonday prayer or our Friday night service or our Sunday morning service. And you can give your offering then. Uh, that's the best way to do it. Or mail it here to the church address, 7240 Bodenite Drive, Springfield, Virginia. Amen. Um, and so 22150. And this information is on my page and on our Noonday Prayer page. Amen. You have a page, Noonday Prayer page on Facebook, and you can use that one as well. Amen. So God bless you, family. We thank God for you. Our closing scripture, 1 Timothy 1st chapter 17, verse now to the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Let the church say, Amen. Hug somebody. Tell them that you love them. This is the Agape Way. God bless you, family. See you next time. See you next time in Jesus' name. God bless you. Say that twice.
Agape Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invites you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 FNG Boudinot Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church.